Today we'll be discussing one of the most important inequalities in analysis, that's Chebyshev's inequality. It's named after the Russian mathematician Pavnuti Levovich Chebyshev, who looked something like this. And the inequality says that if I have a function f, a non-negative measurable function, the absolute value of the integral is less than infinity, that's the definition of being a uh, Lebesgue integral, then the measure of the set of points in E such that f of x is greater than some non-negative non or non-zero constant c is less than or equal to 1 over c multiplied by the integral on E of f. And this tells us that for a function to be Lebesgue integrable, it can't get too large on an extremely large set. So it, it can only equal infinity on a set of measures 0. And for very large values, it can't, cannot sustain those values on very, very large sets. It has to eventually, as we go towards infinity, get smaller and smaller. The proof will be divided into two cases. The first case is when the measure of this set, which I will denote E sub C, is infinity. And the second case is when the measure of E sub C is less than infinity. Okay, so in the first case, just by the way we define the integral of a non-negative uh, measurable function, the integral of f is greater than or equal to the integral of any bounded function of finite support that's less than it. And for this we can choose c times the chi function of e sub c intersected with negative n to n, which is finite support because of this, and it's bounded because it at most attains a value of c, and this function is easy to observe that it's less than f, and as we let n go to infinity, since the measure of e sub c is infinite, this goes to infinity. So the integral of f is infinite, and the inequality holds trivially, because everything is less than or equal to infinity. For the second part of the proof, observe that the function c times chi function, the characteristic function of e sub c, is less than or equal to f. Now, integrating both sides, we get c times the integral of the chi function of e sub c is less than or equal to the integral of f, both on e, of course, dividing by 1 over c, we get and dividing by c, and the integral here is just the measure of e sub c.